everyone so today i am going to give a uh, explanation on the theory that uh, geological structure is a dominant control factor in the evolution of landform and is reflected in them it is a famous theory of uh, that is the fundamental concept of geomorphology so this um, uh, this concept is actually emphasized on the dominant control factor of environment landform evolution that is the influence of geological structure on primary and secondary landform there are primary and secondary landforms are there so these are dominant control factor of our landform evolution and this explain here the, on this theory some of the uh, f one of the famous uh, geomorphologist w m davis included here uh, structure process and time structure process and time this is also called trio of davis so trio means three so trio of davis namely namely structure process and time so as important controlling factor of her landscape development and through his postulated w m davis postulated that uh, postulated that landscape is a function of structure process and time but he gave more importance to time uh, although structure process and time is important factor but w m davis uh, he, he was a famous geomorphologist w m davis he was a famous geomorphologist but he gave more emphasis on time so uh, the landform evolutions the the what how many means the uh, process include uh, how many time uh, in which year its evolu evolution occurred what are the uh, chemical process occurred in the uh, land from evolution he and uh, w m davis give more emphasis on it okay so mainly uh, other emphasis is mainly on because primary and secondary landform evolution is here so mainly on rock and relief what is relief relief like um rocks you know that igneous rocks sedimentary rock metamorphic rock uh, igneous rock like marble sedimentary rock metamorphic rocks are there so relief and geological structure what is geological structure means it is a uh, geological process it is a scientific pro process so geological stru ge geological structure and geological structure of land from and uh, like uh, geological geomorphology some of the famous geological geomorphologists are there uh, like uh, 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 like uh, Ch charlie he was he was a famous uh, geomorphologist and then again soham these persons names are very famous in geography so soham then Su sudan in 1985 uh, structural geomorphology he has given then volcanic landforms uh, like uh, volcanic eruptions like lava magma how the process include here this is um, land from uh, volcanic landforms then again uh, like erinikias er er erinikias these are some of the hard term but it's important okay erikinias then the volcanic landforms then land uh, argilikias this uh, i'm going to write in my uh, in my descriptions the name of this uh, term okay then uh, calcareous landforms and uh, like uh, metamorphic landforms these are some of the landforms where you into geological structure these are uh, some of the um, important dominant control factor that include in landform evolution then some of the modern geomorphologists are there like jt heck uh, jt heck he was a famous modern geomorphologist then rj charlie and J. Soham, J. Soham, De I. Sudan, then have clearly outlined on the influence of geological structure of landform. So these are some of the uh, modern geomorphologists. They uh, primarily and mainly clearly outline the influence of uh, geological structure of landform. Okay. 
So then the, this modern geomorphology is also uh, give emphasis that this not only clearly um, means geological structure is always and only dominant control factor in evolution of landform as sometimes exogenetic factors are also there. What is exogenetic force, endogenetic force and exogenetic forces are there. So uh, on not only geological structures play important role but uh, exogenetic genetic uh, process also become uh, so influenced and dominating that uh, they overshadow the control of geological structure okay so though endogenetic force are always uh, important role but exogenetic factors like um, volcanic eruptions earthquake these are also some of the dominating factors in land from evolution then uh, another important part about structure is structure is used in narrow sense because um, modern geomorphologists give more important on time so structure play a um, use in a narrow sense narrow means in a small parts we, we can say so uh, it include only deformation deformation means separation uh, that uh, when it again um, it touches with each other it's we, we can call they are joined with each other or deformation means separation so deformation and arrangement of rocks um, arrangement of rock due to art movement we know plates are plates moment are there so when plate moment are there when they um, when uh, continent continent come near to each other then this plate moment included here okay so sometime ocean plate come near to it near to a continent plate then collidation occurred then moment of art art occurred okay so this structure is used in a narrow sense and uh, deformation and arrangement of rocks due to art moment then these are called endogenetic force because this force occurred in in a um, uh, in a uh, indo uh, means inner inner side of the rocks okay uh, inner side of our art moment then um, but it, if it is used in wider sense then here structure include so if we use in a wider sense in a broader sense then structure include what structure include like nature of rocks what type of rocks is there like igneous rock sedimentary rock so nature of rocks then arrangement of rocks how the arrangement of rocks is occurred there in art moment so these are also so in the, um, the structure process and time structure play emphasis there then rock characteristics so rock characteristics also important part in landform evolution because igneous rock sedimentary rock metamorphic rock so many rocks are there and their characteristics are not same and availability of these rocks is distributions of these rocks are also found in different parts of our world different parts of in the india so rock characteristics also influence the um, the landform uh, landform evolution so then i am going to give uh, one of the example of intrusive rocks so intrusive rocks uh, and extrusive rocks are there so what is intrusive rocks like granite we use granite in house making our for our household purpose so granite is a intrusive rocks okay that uh, what is extrusive rocks these are found in a city like rajasthan then again because uh, it's famous for um, granite marble okay these are intrusive rocks then again extrusive rocks what is extrusive rocks like example like basalt basalt is a example of uh, extrusive rocks okay mm, then again mesas and boots these are some of the rocks also found and these are uh, helpful in landform evolution and this though big, the, uh, some modern geomorphologists give more important on time because formation of these rocks is not so easy it took thousand and thousand of years so rock characteristics here play important role in um, in landform evolution uh, then again 
some of the uh, uh, I'm going to explain again about endogenetic and exogenetic force already I'm explained the theory that geological structure is not only the dominant control factor of our geological structure but uh, it also influenced and re reflected in them so I'm uh, overview on this uh, <coughs> theory then now i'm going to uh, give some of the views on uh, geomorphic process that our geomorphic process are divided into endogenetic forces and uh, endogenetic means um, i'm going to explain again endogenetic force and exogenetic force what are endogenetic force like slow moment endogenetic force are um, slow moment what is slow moment like uh, dystrophism then sudden moment sudden moment like earthquake suddenly occur these are sudden moment then again this uh, dystrophism is again safe, divided into a vertical and horizontal moment what is vertical we can parallel and horizontal so this um, uh, the dystrophism is div again uh, divided into vertical and horizontal moment and this uh, vertical and horizontal moment one of the important theory like continental building how continent are built uh, now so continental building and again uh, what is um, orogenetic like mountain building in uh, to yesterday class i am explained some some view on mountain building process so mountain building is a orogenetic process and these are horizontal moment occurred here and these are endogenetic forces involved in um, endogenetic forces involved here okay it's easy so endogenetic forces include horizontal and vertical moment so horizontal moment like dystrophism then uh, oh, sorry horizontal is a, a mountain building process that is orogenetic and vertical moment it is epirogenetic or con and continental building process include then um, exogenetic process some exogenetic process are there so exogenetic process what like weathering erosion and deposition weathering uh, weathering is a breaking down of rocks it is weathering is breaking down of rocks i am giving some view on rocks that breaking down of rocks when rocks are breaks down it is called weathering so it is um, uh, it is uh, three factors included here weathering process that is physical factors chemical factors and uh, geo biological factors biological factors is mainly influence on biological process then erosion what is erosion when um, the uh, factors like running water like groundwater then again glaciers waves and uh, currents and which winds uh, when play emphasis on um, uh, on the exogenetic process it is called erosion erosion we know that when our deform deforestation what happened there at the outer part the main part of the layer degraded here then again river erosion what happened there that river eroded mainly so many factors so these are also erosion occurred here these are exogenetic process then deposition the same factor involved in deposition process deposition like running water uh, from river like ganga brahmaputra yamuna krishna kaveri what happened there deposition occurred year by year uh, then again what happened um, in glacier water is there then waves currents in seas or ocean waves occurred so waves and current these are some of the uh, process exogenetic process process of deposition then winds also exogenetic process what happened in winds when the in the areas like very desert areas what in desert areas there uh, what happened that mainly um, the very rough winds occur there and the outer layer of the uh, outer layer of the uh, which called mud or it sands then flow away there so it is a deposition process Okay. these are some of the geomorphic process occurred in a uh, very nice way and uh, it's important for our uh, examination purpose and then i'm going to explain also about weathering process some of the form of comp compression and form of tension is there what is forms of compression like fold mountain uh, it is a uh, it is some view on forces of compression and then forms of tension like fault mountain 
folding and faulting we know that fold what is there uh, so fold means suppose this is a pane and this it is like fall i'm folding this it is a folding process and fault means compression it is a folding if i can use in a piece of paper also if we use in a piece of paper then when it's uh, fold record it's like this and fault fall it's a mountain formation process folding and faulting so diastrophic process and catastrophic force forces are there then the catastrophic forces is very risky like um, volcanic eruption earthquake these are catastrophic process and volcanic eruption and earthquake uh, because uh, these are catastrophic means uh, the risk level is little so so high there and diastrophic forces like aerogenetic forces and uh, upward movement that is emergence occur there and downward movement submergence occur what is submergence there the um, forces uh, uh, submerge the uh, moment like uh, a mountain formation the mountain may be submerged there okay so submerged so this is some of the uh, forces of uh, endogenetic and exogenetic process then again um, tensional forces and like crustal crustal fracture it is tensional forces then again crustal building it is upward and downward movement and what is crustal structure like crack, cracking cracking means uh, like crack crack it's like crack uh, when it's occurred cracking so it's cracking and faulting it's uh, uh, some of the important uh, endogenetic and exogenetic forces i am explaining today so again i am overview on endogenetic and exogenetic forces endogenetic is like slow movement and uh, slow movement like a continental building mountain building this is slow movement so these are endogenetic forces and exogenetic is mainly weathering erosion and deposition what is weathering breaking grounds of rocks it is weathering and deposition means when um, the, like running water glacier running water glaciers and uh, uh, waves currents it's happen in these are deposition process and uh, diastrophism and catastrophism what is diastrophism and catastrophism in diastrophism and catastrophism like epigenetic forces and orogenetic forces occur in epigenetic forces like emergence emergence that is upward movement mountain building process occurred in upward movement and uh, like um, downward movement like submergence of seas submergence of uh, these are some of the diastrophic forces then catastrophic forces i am already explained that volcanic eruptions in our world so many volcano emerges and volcano we know it is a very slow process we cannot observe very easily so catastrophic forces is there so tensional forces like crustal fracture cracking then faulting these are some of the catastrophic forces the, uh, 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 that occurred in our earth surface this is a part of our geomorphology subject so i am explaining it today uh, i think uh, it's a very easy now and um, so i am going to explain some of the terms in my description box in my youtube channel so um, i am going to please check my description box also and uh, thank you so much take care bye bye